Welcome back, everyone. My name is Elton Martin. We're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Expeditions Rome. Where we left off last time, we had just arrived back at the Rubicon, and it's time to uh, talk to some people before we decide to cross back into Rome and disband our legion. That being said, I'm not even sure if we get these Praetorians back, so what I'm going to do, we can always re-equip them later, is just take all their loot. Don't want to run the risk of having to remake this stuff, because we have no pristine um, anything left. So we'll just kind of go ahead and remove all their gear. They can cross back into room completely naked with just underwear. Alright, let's talk to people. Calida. Last time we stood here with a legion, we had Lucullus with us. You could move in with me, you know. I'd love to have you close by. It's tempting. I can't say it wouldn't be nice to have a home here again. With you. Let me try to clean out some of the skeletons in my closet first. Then if everything works out somehow, we can talk about this again. A lot of things will be harder now that he's gone. I know he was your Patronus, but the man was like a father to me. We will avenge Lucullus. We will. I will. I know you don't like Rome, but you seem particularly glum today. I hate to be back in this shithole of... shit. Don't be like that. It's still your home. Home is what we make of it. Maybe you're right. I just think everyone will be better off without me. Will you disappear again? I don't know yet. There's a lot I need to take care of. Let me know if you need saving this time. I'd like to return the favor. I'll let you know if I suddenly turn into a damsel in distress. All in all, this expedition wasn't that bad, was it? I'm not really sure about that. We have denied Lurko the control of Egypt, but we also made him look like a hero. Let him think he's a hero. The higher you soar, the further you fall. Let us hope you're right, for everyone's sake. See you on the other side of the Rubicon. Bestia. Is it time? You seem eager to return to Rome. I've told you before. It is this idleness that bothers me. Can't we just quickly go in? I have things to do. Things like what? I do have some personal matters to attend to. Any plans for the upcoming days? I'll take it easy. This campaign made me realize there is a lot to learn. And while Sinaros is a great magister, it is impossible for him to teach me everything. But he said if he teaches me how to fish, my problems will be solved. To fish? Are you sure you heard him correctly? Perhaps I misunderstood. I am already skilled at fishing. But magister rarely turns out to be wrong, so I am intrigued. Did you like this expedition? Of course, what's not to like? We are the scourge of Egypt. We have slain all of our foes. They shall sing our names for years to come. I know you are not entirely happy about being saved by Lurko. Do not worry, though. Vengeance will be ours. You patience are... is the sharpest weapon You are right. Hunter. We shall have patience. And strike when the time is ripe. I am aware of the right irony that I was trying to talk while he was talking, showing a distinct lack of patience. Hmm. You seem uh, lost in thought. Recent events are making me think about the way we're approaching our long-term problems. No matter what we do, our opponent seems to retain the upper hand. Nonsense. We've decimated them. We conquered Africa. Weren't you there? Indeed, I was there. Yet our opponent still emerged victorious, eliminating all of our evidence and ultimately becoming a hero in the end. We're clearly not playing by the same rules. It's for this reason that the game is not fair. What do you propose? We stop playing fair. Consider the Rubicon. No legatus is allowed to keep their command inside the Pomerium. The Legion shall always disband here, beyond these predefined borders. So it is written, so it shall be done. It does seem pointless, doesn't it? It doesn't matter why the rule exists. All that matters is that everyone obeys it. And because everyone obeys it, it exists. That makes us predictable. This is how Luko always wins. He knows what our possible moves are, so he prepares himself accordingly. He plans for both outcomes and controls the result either way. Now, consider the results of a commander crossing the Rubicon with his legion. Ignoring the ancient law and the tradition. You think we should not disband the Legion? Uh, certainly not. I was simply using as an example the absurdity of the notion. 
and the fact that Rome would be helpless against such a legion were it to just march through. Loco exploits our adherence to established norms and patterns. As long as we're playing the same game, he wins. Then perhaps we should change the rules. It is an idea worth considering, but we should be careful about it, lest we become predictable in our rule-breaking. Are you looking forward to returning to the bathhouse? My frail bones are in dire need of warm water and a well-executed massage. But I also have an interesting meeting to attend. A meeting with a lovely lady, I assume. Indeed. A lady who allegedly knows the solution to the one formula of Pythagoras. Which one? The one formula. The solution to all that was, all there is, and all there ever will be. Pythagoras famously believed that what we perceive is a mere reflection of a world of numbers. A world of conditions and formulaic instructions. A construct or a, a mere representation of a true reality that could easily be derived from one formula. He who knows the formula knows all. Right, and you think this lady who knows all there is to know is willing to share this formula with you in a bathhouse? I have little to lose. What do you think of our deeds in Africa? Egypt represents a clear victory. With Cleopatra out of the picture, the Senate can surely be persuaded to grant rulership of the area to you. Unless Lurko has another trick up his sleeve. I do think he will try to present our victory as his, thereby solidifying his claim for consulship. It is unlikely they would let him have Egypt, though. I'll talk to you later. Okay, so... Uh, let's get this over with. What's your plan now, Marcellus Vipsanius? Probably. But not for the reasons you might Oops. think. What? Oh, what's your plan now, Marcus Pepsanis? Okay, that's an entirely different way of phrasing that. Uh, what reason do you think that I might think? Actually, the case that I know needs no reason, but from a beautiful woman and a jug of sweet wine. Well, in that case, maybe I'm not the Kaizo you know anymore. We have all changed in one way or another. Change is the only constant in life. And us hope I have changed for the better, then. You are my moral compass. I am confident you'll do the right thing. I shall try not to disappoint you. What's going on, big dog? Where to even start? I served with Lucullus for the majority of my life. In a way, he turned me into the man I am today. In return, I caused his death. He would have been alive today if we hadn't delayed our departure for the sake of fixing my mistakes. I'm nothing but a disappointment. You have never disappointed me. You're almost like the brother I never had. And you are more of a sibling to me than my own little brother. It is comforting to know I have never disappointed you. But somehow I feel like I have failed in that big quest that is my life. I should have been more important. More significant. You talk as though you're at the edge of your grave. Who's to say that I'm not? Nicholas certainly didn't see it coming. This campaign went rather well, don't you think? It certainly ended better than it started. It's a shame the Queen did not survive. Nevertheless, I wish we were able to save Lucullus. If only we had departed a day earlier. There was no way to know. You're probably right. Still, that makes me wonder. Hang in there. There's something I need to handle now that we're back. I may call on you if I need your help, but hopefully it won't come to that. Do not worry. I will not ask to live with you again this time. There is important thing I must do anyway. What might that be? I need to find man who killed my sister, Silvius. What makes you so sure he's still here? Habron said he is important member of Collegium Bacchus. If he is not here, he has cause to return at least. And when he does... I will be waiting. What will you do when you find him? I am not sure yet. I will see what he does when he is found. If you need me, I'll help you in any way I can. It is best to not involve you. But thank you for offering. Good luck, Dianara. Don't get yourself in too much trouble. <laughs> I will. Alright, uh, I think that's everyone. Now we gotta go talk to Foscius. Foscius. Tyrvitus. Who is uh, going to tell us to disband our legion? Legate? Indeed, Vitus, let us be warriors no longer. You will always be a warrior at heart, 
Now it's time to be a citizen. No weapons. Makes the combat scenarios in these in the Roman areas a little bit more challenging. Today's augury casts doubt and confusion. I bring forth the following relatio, the result of which is to be decided per discessionem no later than the sun disappears beyond the horizon. I am surprised Pompeius was elected consul. He's not even old enough. Yes. Gnaeus Pompeius Magnus. A dangerous man. Full of political ambition. But also an accomplished commander. Though they are both populares, he sees Vitellius Lurco as a natural opponent. Useful for us. Today's relatio presented itself and is thus natural. There shall be an assignment of territory and responsibility. Thanks to you, Egypt is presently without a ruler. With the unfortunate demise of the proconsul of Africa, there's an obvious question of control. Having conquered the area myself, I expect to be given that honor. In this case, honor comes with a lot of responsibility. Being the proconsul of Egypt could severely limit your options. Perhaps it would also provide me with resources, not to mention political prestige. That is true. Providing you know how to exploit those advantages. To be honest, the Populares are impressed. To them, leaving Egypt in the hands of a potentially dangerous queen seemed like a terrible strategy. And your idea of creating a legion right there out of the local population was a deciding factor. What about the Optimates? Needless to say, they are less enthusiastic about your relatively non-political and dangerous solution. Obviously, they're not exactly thrilled about the Foreign Legion, either. No matter what, I expect Vitellius Lurko to make a play for proconsulship. Let him try. I'd try to couple that confidence with some kind of action. Silence! Let only those who are of consequence speak. The appointment of a proconsul is to be decided. The issue is of the utmost importance, and the candidate, I believe, is obvious. The only question is, does the Conqueror of Egypt wish to shoulder this responsibility? Naturally. I made myself deserving of this promotion by conquering said land. Indeed. Doesn't conquest imply a decisive victory? I believe it was thanks to Vitellius Lorco that you were victorious. Am I wrong? Vitellius Lurko's contributions cannot be ignored, however to attribute the victory entirely to him would be a, to disregard my own victory. How is this unlike the events that unfolded during the Asia campaign? You and Luke Cullis coming to my so-called rescue. Despite the severity of the situation, I think you are skilled enough to have emerged victorious. I believe our help was overvalued by the Senate. The honor should have been yours. Is this what you truly believe? It is. I wasn't even in full command at the time. Rejecting your responsibility. Typical. He is still inexperienced. This kind of behavior is to be expected. Clearly, he could not be trusted with such responsibility. I can think of someone who would be perfect for this position. A commander whose deeds were regretfully disregarded previously. Aurelius Cotter. Excellent choice. Yet, one that is less qualified than the commander of Legio Victorix. How do you explain the death of the Egyptian queen, though? Was that an ideal solution? She represented a great risk and had to be eliminated. A decisive mind is the primary trait of a proconsul, I believe. What matters is the decision made and the consequence, both currently in favor of Rome. A positive outcome doesn't necessarily mean the action was justified. Much to my regret, it seems the Senate favors Vitellius Lurko's candidate. Very well, let's hope no one regrets this. He who deserves the title gets it. Don't worry, this is not the end. With you in Rome, I'm sure we'll see each other more. Oh, Lurko, you are a true idiot. Alrighty, well...
anything in here? There's no one even to talk to. I guess we could sit. There's a bench. And apparently we can just... Have a seat. It's the only bench we can sit on. Literally no other benches are available for us to plop down. So, uh, yeah. Let's leave. There's gotta be more side quests to do, I'm imagining. Um, let's go to Villa Valeria first. And then we're gonna go explore around. I'm hoping we get some good news on what to do. Unless we're supposed to talk to our mom and then start this act. Or, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how this all goes. Oh, we have quests to do here. Dianera must infiltrate the Collegium Bacchus, and we have to go to Marcellus Vipsenius's thing. Alright, let's take a look around our little encampment, though. There's definitely a person to talk to. It's Cicero. Salve. I see you're on your way out. Glad I caught you. I'm literally on my way back in, but fair enough. Um, Senator, to what do I owe the honor of your visit? I wish I could say I was just dropping by for a cordial visit. However, I was in fact asked to come here by your friend. Yulia Kalida has got herself into a great deal of trouble, and she has beseeched me to lend her my legal counsel. If Kalida needs her aid, I'll gladly give it. What's she asking? I told her I would represent her as a favor to you, if you are willing to owe me. For reasons that will become apparent, your friend is forced to maintain a low profile at the moment. She has chosen a discreet meeting spot near the market. Please meet us there today, and she will explain the details of her predicament. I am unimaginably annoyed at how many emergency vehicles go by my window on a constant basis. It's super irritating. Anyways, let's go talk to Cineros. Our personal supply of darkest roses. We are being summoned to appear at the court. You have committed a criminal offense, or so they claim. What crime? I didn't do anything. Both things can be true. Our actions sometimes cause harm to society, yet we may be unaware. Or perhaps you're being wrongfully accused. Only one way to find out. Who claims it? Someone must have suffered because of something you did. Frankly, there's no way to know unless we visit the magistrate. Do we gotta? Uh, if we want to defend ourselves, certainly. To be technical, they cannot reach a decision in our absence. But lately, they have started interpreting silence as acceptance. I say it is best to be on the safe side. All right, keep it in mind. It is best not to ignore these things. The court may think of your silence as an acceptance of guilt. If you find yourself near the forum, you should talk to the magistrate. I will meet you there. What do you think Lurko will do next? Despite all of our efforts, he did really position himself well politically. I would not be surprised to see him become a consul soon. That would be a disaster. Then we should get ready for a disaster of epic proportions. Vale. Alrighty, so we gotta go deal with some criminal charges. We have to go talk have nice to... Day. That's our mom, let's not talk to her. That's our output thing, there's nothing around. Okay, let's go deal with our criminal charges, I guess, first. I can't believe we've been charged with the crime. Nearly dropped and I'm four full of olive oil in the triclinium. Stable muster and two also. Aside from our mom, is there anyone else to talk to? Near the forum tomorrow. Cineros is there, but he doesn't have anything to say. Our mom. Nothing around here. No? Okay. Let's go. Let's head to the Wait, which one was which first? Not the Senate. The streets, I guess? Alright. We're just going to go J, and we're going to do Liability. Track quest. Find the Praetor near the market. Where would he be? Over there. Did you hear? 
we have taken control of Cineros and the Praetor are here. Was long overdue. An now is the fine will be held tomorrow by the House of Arrasilus. Ah, way. Thank you for coming. Hopefully this matter will be resolved quickly. Naturally, Praetor, I take matters of justice quite seriously. An admirable quality fit for a true Roman. This is about your Servus, Secundus. It seems that last night he got quite drunk. In his intoxicated state, he got into a fight with another Servus. Why is Secundus not here to defend himself? He is your Servus, is he not? His actions fall under your purview and responsibility. Did he win? With all due respect, Domine, that's hardly the most relevant question we can ask here. On the contrary, it's actually a surprisingly relevant question. Not only did he win, he broke the other man's arm. Oh. If that's true, he surely deserves punishment. It is not my place to tell you how you should handle your Sowi. I am not a censor. Nevertheless, the punishment of your Sowis is not the topic of this hearing. Seems like you've already reached a verdict. There's not much to say. The evidence is irrefutable. The other Sowis was severely injured, costing his Dominus valuable labor. Furthermore, there are criminal charges. This kind of violence is not to be tolerated. The sentence for the first offense will be monetary. In total, this means you will have to pay 200 denarii to the offended Dominus and 100 denarii to the state. Do you contest this ruling? Of course I do. This is ill-advised. On what basis are you contesting the ruling? Do we even know what Secundus made, made Secundus attack the other service? Well, it is a relevant question, actually. Witnesses claim there was a heated exchange and some distasteful claims about the profession of your mother. No matter what the reason is, there is loss of labor. But that might be an indirect consequence of their actions. A service is supposed to protect his owner. Perhaps. Some damage was still caused. There's nothing to be gained by resisting legal institutions. I'm really defending myself. If your claim is not strong enough, maybe it's not correct. Well spoken. You clearly have a good understanding of how the legal process works. Enough talking. My decision is made. You've made a good case, and your arguments are solid. I can't ignore the damage your service has caused, but you will receive a reduced sentence. This time. Hundred bucks. Alright. That's not the worst situation. The senator Marcus Aurelius Cotta announces his imminent departure from the city. He will take up his seat in Alexandria as pro. Moving on, let's go to the Collegium Bacchus. I think we've never been there before. DNR has tracked down the hidden venue currently used by the outlawed Collegium Bacchus, a secret society dedicated to hedonistic feasts and orgies. Oh my! I mean. I get that they want you to see who you're deploying to this, but when you only have one option of the person you're trying to deploy to an area, what's the point of having the selection screen? Like, DNR has to go, because DNR has to go. Which is a dagger, at least. That's at least a good start. Is that her only weapon? It's a, uh, smuggled Pugio. Pugio. It does a fair amount of damage, and, uh, she's got lots of abilities we, should, we could add in, but let's just leave it. Oh, she's just going straight for the murder. Okay. Hercules, what have you done, Silvius? Hi, Silvius. Who are you? Why did you kill that man? I am Zarichi of Scythia, daughter of Nivica. No more blood needs to be spilled here. Please, just tell us what you want. You and your friend once killed a girl named Tusa and enslaved her sister. Do you not remember? That does not sound like something I would do. How long ago was this? What is this place? Who are you people? We're just a group of regular citizens who gather regularly to enjoy the finer things in life. Nobody is hurt. I swear on you, no Capratina. The women are here by their own choice. What you do here is illegal, is it not? The Senate has outlawed our gatherings, it's true, but only because they don't understand. They've given in to populist sentiment and slanderous rumors, that's all. Nothing we do here is wrong. By Ahura Mazda, you really don't remember? Listen, I'm certain we can come to some sort of agreement. You are bereaved. 
Do you seek compensation? I seek vengeance. Get your hands off me! That was quick. The bitch killed Sylvia. She's mad. Stop her. Well, looks you like we could. You want to try me too? I will kill you all if I must. Time to get a murder going, I guess. You are a pawn, so I can definitely just stab you in the face. And then I will also stab you twice. Let me just kind of move over here. Stab this guy. Move over here. Stab this guy. Move up here. Stab this guy. We've run out of movements. Actually, we should probably... We're gonna take an AOO, but that's only because I don't want to be horribly murdered when these guys all come and stand in the door. Okay. Alrighty. Dead. 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 Go, get the last one. I can't reach him. I incorrectly positioned myself for this. Yeah, we'll just wait it out. Come on in. You're gonna get a hit, and it's gonna hurt. Get the lictors! Get anyone! Get the lictors! Get anyone! Well, that solves all that. Can go ahead and take all that loot. And whatever is in this chest, Zachara Zairiki's Labrius. It's a. S doesn't look like a sword. It looks way more like an axe to me, but that's fine. Let's go talk to Don't the civilian. Hurt me, please. Not planning to. I would to. never. Find your clothes and get out. Gonna go ahead and steal all the money. And I think that's it. We've done all the things here that we needed to do. Alright, moving on. I guess that's gonna be the end of our video. We have a couple more things to deal You know what? We'll deal with quickly. We'll go back home and we'll deal with Cinerosa's thing, and then we'll call it a video there. That's a good plan. Man, DNR just murdered her way through, like, eight people. Which was very fun. It would have been a much more annoying fight if she didn't have her smuggled Pugio. Or Pugio, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it is pugilism. And people that engage in our pugilists. So I'm guessing it's a PGO. I've taken care of the payment. There's just one more matter we need to address. Seems he can fight. Segundus per himself. Perhaps he can be of more use to us in a different capacity. An interesting decision. I will see to it that he's trained properly. There we go. Problem solved. For now, I will leave you guys here. In the next video, we'll deal with Queso's thing, and uh, then we will deal with Calida's thing as well. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. I'll see you next time. Take care.